Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lurgan 111, and welcome back to Ella Fantasy Flipside. Since last time, I was upset about the fact that I couldn't get the book over to the new uh, snowman village or whatever that I recently discovered. Watch this. <laughs> that guy has new behavior. There was an update to this game since I last played. Um, and I think this was something important that I was missing. Do you see that? Those that guy, those jumps, that jit speed. Makes me want to throw up. I'm so jealous. There's more he says. If only I could run with boots like those. If only I could jump toward the wall and then jump again to bounce off. Then I'd be as cool as that guy. So I think I have more mobility with the boots than I realized, and that's probably gonna help me get places. In any case, I realized that I was having trouble uh or trouble getting the book to all the guys who were talking in a different language. And it also occurred to me, in episode one, I looked at some of the runes after episode one to see if I could translate them myself. It was a simple English substitution cipher, and I determined that it was not. Then in episode two, I got the book, which translated things, and so I didn't think about it again. But then after the previous episode, I was like, I wonder if I can translate them, because the book always translates and skips all the vowels. And so I went and looked, and it is a direct one-to-one -one correlation with the consonants, and so I'll probably, if I remember to edit it in, post a uh, picture that I took of just like some paper notes that I was drawing out. So I translated a bunch of the things that like the snowmen people were saying, and it was boring stuff like, hey, we're snowmen and we love the code. Cold, do you like the cold too? If not, you should head west to the volcano. Um, or we don't slide around on the ice because our boots can are really nice and keep us from sliding and you can upgrade your boots with the ore to keep you from sliding as well which is something i knew because it was in the manual <laughs> um so yeah i did not from the bits that i saw get much information from the translation that i did manually um but what i do think is going to help is if i like jump and dash and jump then there's a way to... I'm still not sure exactly what the uh, timing is. So I think I need to like dash, jump, dash, jump. Uh, I got two bounces there. There we go. I'm not sure exactly what I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, that lets us climb with the boots. And so I think that might be like the most important move that I've been missing. And actually, there might be a few places that I might be able to use that. Um, oops. Uh, maybe I shouldn't fall into a hole, though. So let's see. I might be able to use that over here, actually. Was this the place? Hold on. Um, that's a place to get some ore. Right, that's not actually the place I was thinking of, though. So if I want to climb this... I don't think I can use this necessarily. Is there somewhere else over here? This might work. Can I possibly... Oh, I can move the uh, pots around. That's interesting. What I'm wondering is if I can find a place in here where I can, like, run and bounce and... Yeah. Okay, you saw how high I just got there with, like, a double bounce. I'm just kind of mashing buttons, trying to figure out how to do it. <laughs> But I think there might be a way to climb. Hmm. Even if I could climb, I'm not sure this gets me to where I need to go. Can I do it in this tiny space? Uh, I don't think I'm doing it. Yeah, I was on the other side of this screen coming back from like the secret village. And so can I do this? Oh, that worked. I'm here now. So I think I can reverse my way into this. Hold on. This could be huge. So with the boots, I made it to here. And so if I can... Ooh! Okay. So if I can reverse my way... Oops, that did not work. Um, I don't think I want to sprint. Why is that? I feel like I'm reading the depth here wrong. Okay. I think I understand. It's closer. The second one is closer to me than I thought. 
I could try sprinting. I feel like sprinting is just going to mess me up, though. Okay, so if I'm here... Ooh, too slidey. <laughs> if I'm here, and then switch directions to here... Okay, I need to go farther to the right, but I think I could do this. Yes. Okay, I'm here. Uh, you guys kill me. That's fine. That's not as fine. All right. Go over here. Take your time. Go over here. And this is the one-way travel that I turned into two-way travel, I think. Yeah. And now I'm back in the secret village. Okay. And so from here... I have taken boots up to the upper level. Yes. Boots is not the book. But it is something new. So yeah, this guy... I'm not going to read all the translations that I figured out right now. Um, but I did translate that guy and a few other guys in here. So with boots, is there anything... I think I could get, right, this is where we have an extra place to use the warp whistle with the bird. I think this guy says, like, welcome to Snowman Village or something. Or Hidden Village, Secret Village, whatever it's called. This is where I come back out from Boulderville. So this is where I'm actually up the mountain rather than down the mountain. And okay, so can I okay, so can I use boots to uh, finally get to the ant hill hole where I have been told that I will find my first soul? Let's see if that's maybe a thing. Uh, oh gosh, it's you. Um, quit stealing my stuff. I said quit it. All right, he quit it. <laughs> to get to. Snowman Village. I think I go this way. Yeah. So suppose I go down here. I think there's no turning back, but I do think there might be somewhere that I could wall climb. So over here... Can I... Yeah, do this. I did, but then I hit my head. And I'm still not sure exactly how to activate it, but once I get it going, could I then... Is there anywhere else that I can do it? Like, I think somehow I need to hit the switch over there to open this door. And I'm not sure that I'm doing any of that with this. But this is getting me somewhere. But not anywhere I need to go. Hmm. And I don't think the boots help me on this screen necessarily. Uh, they might help me get up here. Oh! I did like a single bonk and got up there. That's kind of weird. These guys are also wearing boots, aren't they? How come they're not dashing? Hadn't really thought about that before. So I'm here, and yeah, like I'm sometimes just like climbing up ridiculously, like do I, like almost like I'm doing a double jump. Yeah, like that. So I'm not sure exactly how that works. Um, I don't think it's gonna help me there. Yeah, unfortunately, it feels like the things I need to do. Still seem to require the magnifying glass here. Because I don't think I can climb over this. Hmm. Darn. So on the one hand, I figured out something new. And on the other hand, I can't do anything with it. Ah, frustrating. Alright, Death just had something new to say. And that's not it. <laughs> Ah, you're back. No luck finding those lost souls? No, I have not. Well, perhaps if you found your way here, you could go back to the surface. Paths may be open that are closed here. And if there was one rift between worlds, there may be others. Yes, I have found others. Sound like a good plan? Hop to it. Okay. So he's steering me out of here and telling me to find other golden needle places. 
which I've already started doing. Oh, hey, Ludo's in here now. Previously, he was sitting out here, right? Huh. Um, let's talk to him here. Lovely to see you again, Belle. I just remembered something. Most of the pots around the island are sealed shut, you see. They're used for storage. But some of them have an odd pattern on them, and they never seem to be sealed. Why, something small could fall right into one if you catch my drift. If I turn small with a magnifying glass, I can go down into certain pots. And those pots are visually distinct, I believe is what I just heard. So I do want to walk around with these boots, but let's also try to keep an eye out for pots. Because that's now a new exciting thing I need to think about. Um, but where could I use boots to my advantage where previously I was stuck? Also, do boots affect swimming at all? I don't think so. Can't dash in the water. It has been a while. I could come up to this cliff, and this is where I first got the golden needle back in here. What happens if I go to the left? I remember crossing this once, but I don't remember what was over here. Ledge on the sea. Uh, and there's a tall mask here. There was a hint a long time ago that, like, um, maybe I had hit this with a wand or something and it was going to move out of the way and something would happen. Also, ledge on the sea. It almost looks like a diving board. So I'm kind of tempted to jump off. I'm going to do this actually first. Oh, I uh, guess I was not far enough south. Oh no, that just bounces me there. Oh, hmm. Is that the same ledge I'm looking down? Okay, so ledge on the sea, that would have dropped me just over here. So that wouldn't have been useful. And there's no one here that would have been useful, I don't think. Flooded alcove. Oh, I could just walk into the flooded alcove. I probably walked here. I was thinking I needed to swim in here for some reason. Um, okay, I'm not getting anything productive done right now. Let's find something. Okay, if I climb up here to where I got the needle, I can also go this way. And if I continue this way... Oh, can I jump across this with the boots? I've never tried this. I didn't make it, but I did make it here. So this is somewhere I haven't gone with the boots. Kind of the upper portion. So I am currently here on the map. Oh, which is another way that I could use the boots to get down into the village. Uh, except for I can't climb up here. I had to use the herbs to get up there last time. Unless there is a way to climb up here somewhere else. Can I bounce through the waterfall? I don't think so. Okay, so let's try this. Hey, I made it. Okay, so I've never been over here, I don't think. Floating planks. And I understand that these are going to fall down when I step on them. Yep. And this... Oh, I could have made it onto the castle. <gasps> I could have made it onto the castle. That would be a whole section I've never been to. Holy cow. Okay, this seems pretty exciting. <laughs> All right, this is possibly the biggest new bit of exploration I've had since at least like two episodes ago or something. Okay, so I can do that. And then from here... Can I do this? Oh, wait, I completely missed. It's very hard to judge angles and depth. Okay, so from here, I need to go... Oop, 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 oop. I'm here. I am in the castle somewhere. And apparently I've been in the room behind here? That's weird. Also, what are you? You're some kind of yellow bird. What does this say? Monument to Mimi, Royal Gardener. Interesting. Okay. What do we have over here? More of these crazy bird thingies. Also, could I just walk back here? I didn't get a good look at this. There wasn't really much there. I see that there's like a little crawl space below the floor over there that if I were small I might be able to fit into. Parade ground. Alright. Lift courtyard. 
This looks like it might be geometry that I could like super bounce off of. Also, look at this pot. Oh, did you see that? So, when I bonk, I shift the pot in an unusual way that causes it to start falling off the platform that it's on. Can I bonk in other locations? If I bonk over here... Are you going to fall off? Nope, I changed screen transition. I didn't mean to do that. You started to fall off, but then you hopped back on. Pot, why are you so alive? <laughs> I need you to not be. I can almost do this. Lift courtyard. So I guess this is the lift. It's like an elevator I want to take. I'm not sure that I'm doing the right thing here. This is where... Okay, drawbridge. This is where if I were small, I could get in that little passage at the bottom of the screen. There's something funky happening here. Humble Hill. Sure. Parapet pots. These pots all look normal. There's that green gem that we spied from elsewhere once upon a time. And it looks like I would get there... Possibly as a mouse climbing through that passage from over there. Yes. Okay, so if I shrink myself down, I should be able to get to that green gem from inside here. Also, hmm, pattern practice. I do see that there's a hole over there, like just below me, that I might want to jump down into. But before I commit to that, prisoner, I could spend a key to get a gem, it looks like. I'm not sure that that's a trade-off that I want to make right now. So I will choose not to for the moment. Shoal, I've seen this from the other side. So I think I do want to try falling down this pit. Uh, I thought this was a pit. Kind of looks like a pit, doesn't it? Uh, but in fact, it's just green grass on the one hand and brown dirt on the other. So if that's not a pit... Then, what have I accomplished by coming into the castle? Kind of nothing. <laughs> Other than discovering some future stuff. And this key for a gem trade. Like, a key seems more important for exploration. And gems I've not been hard up for because I haven't found anywhere to spend them yet. Oh, I can ride this guy! Which makes sense. I've been able to ride kind of like all the other guys as well. So is there some clever way that I can... Oh! I... Okay, I just did that. I'm not sure what I did, but here I am. I'm in the Palace of Pearl. There's a key door down there, but I'm up here. All these jars look normal. Walled Garden. This is a new bird transport location. I can now warp whistle into the Walled Garden. Let's see where I am on the map. Interesting. It is, in fact, a walled garden. There is a doorway over here that's a little bit hard to see, and that appears to be my only transition out of here. Well, I can always work with so back. Looks like there's possibly something down here. Maybe not. I don't want to spend my key, really. Oh, there's a way to walk this way that I almost didn't see. Oh, and a way to walk this way. Hold on. Um... Oh, that's from the higher level. That's where I came in. So this is the only way for me to walk out right now without spending a key. Speaking of keys, there is another key. And I might be able to get it somehow by doing... Uh, that's totally going to work. Because if I get on top of this, which I did just do... Oh, I could just do that. Then I could probably... Sprint over here and jump. Yes, got the key. And also, if you leave something there, you can build a staircase that makes it easier to get the key. That's kind of weird. Piston pillar. Okay, well, I got another key. That's great. Uh, what do we have out here? A gem that's locked in a cage. Timed contraption. I saw the screen from somewhere else. This, oh, I can upgrade my boots. This is the way to the frog, I'm pretty sure. Uh, somewhere near here, if I remember correctly. I feel like I saw the time contraption. 
And somehow I got to the frog. And if I had five ore, I'd be able to upgrade something, and the boots would be worth upgrading, I think. Um, but I don't specifically remember. Oh, I already spent this key and opened this door, so it must be through here to get to the frog, I think. Those pots all look normal to me. Rubble steps, these pots all look normal. Uh, rubble steps. Um, did I climb this somehow before? Oh, I could stand in the pot. Hmm, can I? Yes, I can jump up here like this. And here's the froggy dude. Okay, um, I think having made it here and having the opportunity to upgrade, I want to take the upgrade. I think the boots will now mean that I won't slide on cold anymore, which would be great. A visitor, welcome. I like to improve items for people. If you have five ore chunks, I can use them to upgrade any item held in your E item slot. Use up all five ore chunks, it'll be worth it, I promise. You want me to improve something? Yes. Here we go. Achievement, make it better. Okay, my boots are now blue. And do they have a description in the inventory? I guess not. Um, but I'm pretty sure basically I'm no longer uh, vulnerable to... Oops, don't go that way yet. This is how I came up to the froggy last time. I came through the water. So I came a different way this time and I went out the way that I came in. Okay, that's cool. Um, can I get to that ore by any chance? Oh, watch out! <laughs> his paintings! What the? Okay. I'm ruining his whole day. Whoa! I'm not sure how to get to that ore. I think maybe I'm not getting there. Okay, but I got a permanent upgrade to my boots. And that's pretty great. Do I just need to warp whistle out of here, or is there anywhere else I think I could explore? In any case, the boots are far more powerful than I originally realized. And so hopefully that's going to serve me well. Is there any chance that I can bounce back up? Yes. And then get back out here. So this was the lift courtyard. And so I could also walk out here, but this would just bring me back to places that I've been. There's like a pot up there. In kind of a weird spot. Can I get to that? I can. Oops. Um, but obviously I can't pick it up because I don't have the witch moodles. Okay. Well, I've upgraded boots now. Um, so there was a bunch of icy stuff out this way somewhere. And so I'm going to go check it out. Okay. So we'd come here a few episodes ago. Yeah. I don't slide on the ice anymore. Neat. North Iceberg, watch your step. So, previously I just kind of bowed out of all this. But now this is much easier for me to control. So presumably I can walk here, okay. Icicles, and then I can go over here. And this brings me to the Great Iceberg. It's the Great Iceberg, Charlie Brown. Alright. Rhyme or reason. Looks like I could bounce up here. There's a polar bear. Um, oh, there's a, oh, I could jump on top of this and then jump up there. Cool. Let's talk to a bear. We don't see many creatures like you around here. You must be cold. Maybe if you built a fire or something, you'd be a bit warmer, eh? But be careful. Some of the ice around here is liable to melt if you heat it up too much. There was a screen with ice and like a hole in the center that I read as thwang <laughs> and it was thawing, I think. So there's a way to heat up ice and cause it to melt. So just like bombs can sometimes break blocks, something can sometimes melt ice, is what I just heard. Sounds interesting. Iceberg, oh hey, iceberg access. Here's another bird teleport zone. So I can now warp whistle over here if I wanna get back to the ice quickly. That's pretty cool. And it looks like there's like two types of like, this thing that I'm standing on, it's not like a snowball. It's like an icicle that's fallen down, but it still has a pointy bottom. Or an ice turnip, or I don't know what it is. 
Okay, but I think I kind of dead-ended over there. Uh, is there anything to see over this way? Uh, yes and no. I'm not sure that I can climb up this, and even if I could, it wouldn't really help me. Have I been through here? Reef of Frost. And this is kind of a dead end. So what about this way? Down feathers. I'm sure you're very warm. There's a treasure chest there. Oh! Look at the treasure chest! It's also getting uh, bonked by my bonkification. Can I make it fall off? I'm not sure that I can. Oh, I did. And I heard it go bew. Like it fell out of the world. So, good for it. Does it respawn? It does respawn. Alright, polar bear. Can I bonk my way up to you? Perhaps. You said eep. Sure. I get it. I'm all about the eeps. Whoa! Okay, so that jumps me here, and then... There we go. Going further south or west will just lead to more ocean. Nothing of note out there, in my opinion. That's why the game developer put up some invisible walls to make sure you don't get stuck out there. And honestly, it must be nice not having to design an entire ocean, don't you think? So I think basically what I just heard was the reason the bottom left section is not filled in is because there was nothing to put in the map there, and so the walls block off that bottom left section, um, or kind of the bottom section, given the way that this map is oriented, uh, rather than having just a bunch of empty map squares that were just filled with ocean. All right, I get it. Um, okay, boots have turned out to be super useful. I have found a number of things. Um, I'm still not sure how I'm gonna get any souls. <laughs> I guess the last conversation with death suggested that if I find other ways from the overworld to the underworld, that might be a key to locating some of the souls. So perhaps I should do that. So looking again at the map, currently I have two ways down to the underworld from the places I have been on the screens of the overworld that I've been to. The overworld appears to go very high up in terms of like the y-axis. Or maybe call it the z-axis here in terms of the labeling. I wasn't paying attention. So I have now gone east to the castle. And the only other way I know to get into the underworld is at the hidden village. And it really didn't help me find any souls. <laughs> so I still have this problem, which is I can only carry one item at a time. <laughs> so unless I can use the boots to find another location where I can get to the underworld from up here so that I can find another way in to try to locate souls. I had an idea of something else to try with the boots. The golden maze. There's a place kind of directly below me to the bottom left where if you fall in a hole uh, you just are in a hole and can't get out. But what if instead I do this Oh, I was just there. And then jump down. Oops. Well, it seems like I would just fall on the same screen, though, now that I'm thinking about it. But in any case, I can get up here, and then I could fall in here. And it's not as deep as I would have imagined or hoped. And I don't know that it accomplished anything. Mm -mm. This pot is different. If I were small and in this pot, something amazing would happen. The problem is there's a guy sitting on top of it. And he's the guy who just likes resting and wants to know if I want to enjoy taking a nap or something here as well. And if I say no, it doesn't seem like he does anything. But that pot has a different, a different thing on it than the rest. But unfortunately, this guy is sitting on top of it. And so even if I had the magnifying glass so that I could fit into the pot, which I think is what I would need to do, I can't get this guy off of it so far as I know. All I can do is move the stack of him and the pot around. 
via bonks. Maybe if I could, like, carry a bomb or something, I could move him off of it. Okay, the Palace of Death, or whatever this place was. This had a lot of conveyor belts. And I think possibly the, um... The boots will also protect me against the conveyor belts. I can probably get this key now, too. So if I do this... And then bonk here. There we go. Got the key. Okay, so that's progress. Up to five keys. Okay. And so... I could probably jump across here. Good. There's conveyor belt way up there, but I'm not sure how I get there. I apparently unlocked a door here a long time ago that I don't really remember. Yeah, here's the conveyor belts. And yeah, I'm immune to the conveyor belts now. So that is a huge boon. And does that help me? It might. I could jump over you. I can wait here, and then can I possibly... Uh, let me try this again. Bonk, 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 yes. And now get another piece of ore. Okay, so I collected more ore. Okay, so we're, we're doing things. Things and stuff. I don't think there's... well... I might be able to... No, I don't think I can bonk my way up there. How would... hmm... Can I... hmm... I can jump up here. Can I dash to here? Yeah. I doubt it, but can I like somehow dash up here? Hold on. Like this facing direction. Oh! There's a... Uh, there's like a helmet up there or something. That I only just noticed. Can I bonk? So that it... It fell down, whatever it was. What object do I think that was? Oh, it's a hand, isn't it? It's one of those hands with a finger that's pointing to the right. So that's not particularly interesting to me. Yes, I don't think that's going to help. I just noticed... Um, there's like a little... Oh, it's like the shadow of the hand, I see. That I'm seeing there. Okay, so things that are like kind of hovering in the air, like cast shadows even on the open whole black ground. So I'm learning how to read some of the level geometry that I hadn't previously appreciated. There's an herb growing up there, but even if I could get there, it wouldn't help me. Also, it's surprisingly hard to come up here. Or maybe, okay, maybe that's just a wall. So right, I tried doing some of this stuff before. Uh, oops, that did not work the way I wanted it to. So if I do this, so, well, I'm here. Could I do uh, this? That was pretty close, actually. So again, if I do boop, 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 oh, not quite. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I'm, I'm standing on this. I'm immune to spinning around on these things, too. Oh, wow. These boots are the best. I'm so glad I upgraded them. It was totally worth it. Um, that thing is farther to the right than I think it is. Okay. Got there. Look at this. I'm getting ore. I am the getter of ore. I'm the ore getter. Okay, I'm up to three ore again. That's great. What did you say? These chasms are really deep. You need a running start. Okay, I totally used the running start. Yep. Here's another one of these hand things. Yeah. That I can, like, bounce around. Okay. And I don't specifically remember this. Uh, this does is, is not go the directions I expect. This one's closer to me up front than I think it is, I think. Oops, I went the wrong way. Uh, how did I land on that before? Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, so now I'm here. And what does this say? 
I will practice pattern. I'm going to translate this on my own, so give me a moment. So after using my translation stuff, I believe this reads, The Sultan is in there, but above. Learn and return. Practice pattern. All right. Not sure what to make of that, and I presume if I jump off and... Oh! Uh, invisible... Okay, there's probably like a conveyor belt here, but because I have the boot... Wow, okay. That was... Okay. Um, so there's invisible platforms here. I see, and my explanation points actually have value now, because they're showing me where where the holes are, basically. So there's another hole here. And then, can I jump into here? Yes. Caged ore. <laughs> okay. Um, that's fine. I reset here now. All right. I got to the caged ore. I'm up to four ore. Uh, this is amazing. Um, there's like a lot of other level geometry here, but this seems to be it. So the Sultan is here, but above. Is there any chance that I can like bounce off walls and get above? Seems unlikely. I bounced off of something there. I think I'll be content with my ore. How far can I walk here? Pretty far. So then if I jump, that's all... Yeah, there's a big hole there. But I can walk all the way out to here and then I can probably just like run and fall over here. Yeah. Okay. Um, Neats? Question mark? <laughs> like... I'm accomplishing, like, everything I could possibly accomplish without making any progress toward any of the main goals, is how it feels. Um, I feel like the game is like, you idiot, why have you not rescued a single soul? And meanwhile, I'm like, let me take every possible side quest that is allowable, and maybe even some that are not. <laughs> uh, which is not my intention, but it's just kind of the way things are working out. I think in any case, that's probably going to be enough for this episode. So I'm going to say, I hope as always, that you all are having a great day. And I will see you again soon with more uh, Elephantasy flip side. And maybe finally figure out how to find a lost soul. <laughs> Until then, have a great day, everybody.